guys. Um, in this lesson, we're going to expand on the three string chords that we did, and we're going to play the big three, I call them G major, or just G, a G chord, a D chord, and a C chord. And we're going to be using these chord charts, which you'll see throughout your guitar playing life. They're just a, a graph or a representation of the vertical lines of the strings, the horizontal lines of the frets, and so it's stunning. Elephants and donkeys grow big ears. So if you can, it's, it's, it's a little bit strange, isn't it? You imagine that the neck is vertical and you just get used to seeing these charts and putting your fingers where the, where the dots are. So this is saying the low E string, not at the first fret, not at the second, but at the third fret. And I should have a finger, yeah, a finger two. So I'm gonna use my second finger, I'm gonna get the low E string, finger two. The A string is saying not fret one, but fret two with the first finger. And then the third finger is going all the way over to the high E string. And you just get used to seeing these charts showing the chord vertically, and you sort of look at it this way. So it's kind of like that, but that's how we see it in a book. And you see there's um, a zero or an O above three of those strings over the D, G, and B. That's basically saying, I've got that down at the bottom here, O equals open string. So an open string is a string that we don't need to strum. So maybe pause the video and just write that down yourself or, or get your fingers doing that. And then we strum all six strings and it sounds like this. There you go, that's a G chord. So hopefully you pause it, you've got your fingers down and we'll strum together. We'll strum it, I'll count us in for four and then we'll strum it four times. One, two, three, four. Three, four. And then we're gonna get ready for the next chord. Now, if it's not clear for any reason, just think there's two, we've talked about this before, there's usually two reasons why a, a note, a particular note is either buzzing or not sounding right. Either your fingers, either you're not pushing hard enough, which we usually are, or we're not close to the fret. And now that we're playing multiple strings, um, the other thing that can happen is pretty common is that one finger is leaning over and blocking the next string with the pad of skin underneath. So if my fingers are laying flat, there's a good chance I'll get some notes ringing and some notes muted. So I just make sure my fingers are coming straight down vertically under the strings. And then every note's got a chance of, of being buzz free because it's not being touched by another digit. All right, that's the G chord. Let's look at the D chord. We're blasting through this, but you can just pause it and check it out. So here's the chart for a D chord. So have a look. Elephants and donkeys grow big ears. We don't play, there's an X. If there's an X above a string, when you find chord charts, you don't play that string. So that's, that's easy. We don't play the elephants, we don't play and. We have an open D string, and then we've got this little triangle shape, and this is what I recommend if you can associate a chord with a shape. So for me, a D chord shape is a little triangle, and uh, I've got the first finger is on the G, G at the second fret. Second finger is on the high E string, also at the second fret. That's allowed, we're allowed to, <laughs> we're allowed to play the same fret on different strings. Sometimes people go, are we allowed to do that? I say, yes, you are. So I've got the, the G string at the second fret, the high E string at the second fret, and then there's, so there's a gap in the middle of those two fingers where the B string's running through. And we're gonna play the B string at the third fret. And this is where it's really easy for this uh, third finger to accidentally be leaning onto the, the high E string. I'm gonna put this down. So. If I see, I don't see, you see that finger here is not really vertical, well, ideally it's vertical, but here, here's a demonstration of when it leans over, I'm not gonna get that, that top note coming out very clearly. So what I'm gonna do is just try to get my fingers upright. It might mean that I just have to think about where my shoulder is. When we're playing, we wanna be upright, sitting upright. We don't want one shoulder sort of scrunched up. Um, basically wanna be sitting as um, comfortably and, and uh, with good posture. And then basically everything, if we can do everything without tension, um, we'll be able to play without without getting 
um, sore fingers, sore arms. Your fingertips, it's normal to have sore fingertips for a little while. Just don't overdo it. Don't play for long stretches. But, um, but playing with pain is, um, is something that we have to watch out for. So if you find that when you're concentrating, you're playing like this, you know, or, or anywhere you notice there's tension, just stop and relax and come back and try to do it again and make sure that you know your shoulders are nice and level and your back is straight. Now, that D chord, what I'm saying here with, with the tension idea is sometimes we need to move our wrist, experiment with hand position, but generally I find the best, the best position is, is one in a neutral range of motion. So I don't want my wrist like this. I don't want my wrist like this. Basically, if it's in its neutral position, there's no tension and it puts my hand at a good angle. So be aware of the, the angle here in your wrist. If you find that it looks like this or your palm is touching the, the back of the neck, we don't need to do that. It really, it's only your thumb that needs to touch. So this is going to cause some tension in my wrist here and so, so will this. But a nice neutral position and then take your hand off and shake it out. Do it again. Alright, so the last chord that we're going to look at, actually no, we've got to play D chord <laughs> four times. So, get your D chord down. I find if you pause the video and you actually write out six strings and three fret lines going across and write it out on paper for yourself, it's better than just downloading or printing off from the internet um, a picture of that chord. You know, if you actually write it out yourself, even if you get it off the internet but then copy it out yourself a couple of times, there's something about that process which makes it easier to memorize when you go to play it. So, you know, be proactive. Um, don't just take any, even these videos, don't, don't just, just um, take whatever you find off the internet and believe that it's true or that it's going to work. You've got to find a process for yourself. And for me I, and for my students, I've found that if I make them write the chord chart out for a G chord, and then they've got to really think, oh, which finger is here, you know? When they go to play it again, it's in their memory. All right, so here's our D chord. We don't need the E string, we don't need the A string. It's an open D string, that's what gives the chord its name. Second fret of the G string, second fret of the high E string, third fret of the B string. Fingers are nice and straight, I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. <laughs> you go I bet it was good so now don't worry about trying to play a song yet and don't worry about trying to change from one chord to another really fast um, just get the, the, the feel of each chord individually yeah don't don't try to rush chord changes by all means play a G and then take your time and play a D but we're just practicing skills at the moment we're not playing a song we're just getting the feel of these chords. You'll be playing songs in no time. Okay, the last chord that we're going to look at is a C major chord or C chord. So I think of this one as a almost diagonal line. It's almost, you know, from, from when I look at it like here, the angle is pretty much a straight diagonal line. And, you know, whatever works for you. This is what it sounds like. It sounds like... And it really... It's just part of this G chord family, G, D, and C. So if you have a look, have I done that right? Yes, I have done that right. It looks funny in the thing. So the E string has got an X over it, which means we don't play it. The A string, we're at the third fret. Third fret. I'll hold that up better. The D string is at the second fret. There's a zero above the G. So that's an open string. And then we have first fret on the B string. So it's a little bit of a stretch. It might feel pretty um, uh, unusual at first, but trust me, you can do it. <laughs> you can. And so get that all those fingers down. We don't want the low E string. We're just going to strum from the fifth string. And it doesn't matter if you're using a pick of your fingers. And that's the C chord. 
notice that we haven't really used our pinky at all yet. Don't worry, pinky. You're going to get a workout very soon. But for now, it's just getting used to these three fingers. So let's play that C chord. I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. Okay, so just before I wrap it up, now that you've done all three chords, you know, just go back to the start of clip, just, or do it in your own time, just, just get comfortable with each chord. And what I'd like to do is play the G chord, right? And then when you look at it, when you're ready, you're gonna take your fingers off for just one second, just a little bit, and put them down. So when you lift it off, don't take your hand right away, just lift, just loft a little bit, hover, and see if you can land in the same spot. And it's this process of repositioning many times that builds up that muscle memory of, of what the chord is. You know, if you just place it once and play it for 10 minutes, it's not the same as placing it, you know, 10 times over one minute, you know, or over 10 seconds, you know, just take your hand off, put it back down, and then change to the D chord. Do the same thing. That way your fingers also get a bit of a rest. And finally the C chord. Alright, have fun. Three new chords. I'll see you soon. Bye guys.